Hello everyone, it's my channel. Today we're doing a reading for Aquarius, Capricorn, Libra, and Scorpio. Alright, timestamps will be down below so you can find your sign. So let's get into it starting in the order. So let's do Libra for it first. Alright, so what do we have for Libra? Sun. Yeah, the Hermit Reverse. You're getting out of Hermit mode, Libra. And coming out, getting out into the world, maybe socializing again. We have the Three of Wands, Libra. So this tells me that you're getting out of hermit mode here, and you're going to be creating something. All right, there's something you're creating. Maybe you also work with like crystals here, or crystal balls, or um, light as well. We see a lot of light here, but either way, you're creating strength. All right, so we have, maybe you have Leo placements in your chart, Libra. Judgment. Three of Swords. The Lovers. Ten of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. So you've had someone here who stabbed you in the heart, Libra. Someone here who stabbed you very deeply. Could have been a Leo. Or Gemini. Strongly feel more in Leo than I do Gemini here, but either one. Either way, it's like this person may have stabbed you in the heart, right? Libra. Okay. Stabbed you in the back as well. Maybe this person is going to try to come back around to you. This was a lover of yours. Maybe they're going to try to come back around to you here. Alright. They are being brought back to you, Libra. But this is all that's going to happen again. What happened before will just happen again. They're just going to stab you in the back again, but this time it'll be worse. So no, you don't really want that in your life. You want to continue moving forward, looking forward here, Libra. We have a Knight of Cups. We have a Knight coming in. We have a Chariot. We have Cancer. Star. Aquarius. Seven of, or Six of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Seven of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Yeah, you have, you have that person, like I said, that's maybe coming back around to you. But you also have other people here approaching you in love too. It can be Cancer, or Aquarius, and I kind of, I'd use your intuition, Libra, on what these people's true intentions are too, because you have a Seven of Swords. You have Seven of Swords even with these other options, Libra. So kind of use your intuition as you move forward with these people. Are these people actually genuine? Or are they out to get you for something? Send the swords. Right? They may be trying to appear like they want all they want is you. But that's not true here. In terms of money, your money's gonna be doing well. Ace of pentacles, six of pentacles. Alright? Maybe there's also some things about travel. Maybe you're unsure where to travel to or where when to travel or whatever. But I do feel like there is travel in the cards here. Chariot, star, dream travel. Like traveling to your dream location. Six of Cups. Eight of Wands. There's communication coming forward. There's a lot of communication. It can be from a mother or a daughter here. We have the Six of Cups. Libra. So yeah, there's a mother and a child. You have a Two of Wands. You're at a point, Libra, where you can do anything you want. You're on the dragon here. You have a lot of power. You decide where you want to go next. Two of Cups. We see it keeps pointing. You have Love. Ace of Wands. There's new beginnings. Seven of Wands, Ten of Wands, Five of Swords. Honestly, Leo, or Libra, I kind of avoid love at the moment. Because yes, it is coming in, but this is all it's going to lead you. Is they're just going to stab you in the back. Even new people. So I kind of avoid that. Focus on your money. Because your money is going to be the most like excellent part of this time right now. All right? So, let's grab these cards. What else do we have for me? Number 31 with Call of the Muse. And number 6, it is what it is. Alright? So I feel like in terms of these situations with these people, it is what it is. Kind of leave that alone. Move forward here. Don't really try to bring it back up. 
neighbor, don't really try to go back to it. You gotta keep moving forward. Call up the muse. Like I said, there's something here you're creating. Alright, where was that three of wands? I feel like this goes back to this here. Call the muse and three of wands. I feel like there's something here you're creating and you're having inspiration. This can be in terms of art, music, things like that, Libra. So let's have a look at your Call of the Muse card. Number 31. Creative expression, being in the flow of creativity, tuning into inspiration, allowing creativity without being self-conscious. Writing and journaling as a means of connection, you see? I feel like it's something... Like I said, something with art. Art. There's many different forms of art here, Libra. It can be with music. It can be painting. You know, the list goes on. But you're feeling inspired here. And that's what you're creating in your future. When you feel the call of the muse, you're being invited to create. To be the artist. Geography. Geography. I don't know why I can't say that word, but either way. Serving on behalf of the great artist, divine source. While the process feels intensely personal, your ego and self-identification are, ironically, the most unnecessary parts of the equation. While you think you own the magic of your creativity, can you truly say that you're the source of inspiration? The muse. Oh, hold on. Anyways. The muse, just as the genius needs to partner with your intellect, so too does the muse need you to open your heart and let the magic flow through your intuition and emotion. So all you need to do is be open, Libra, and all this creativity is going to flow and you're going to be creating. Stop seeing yourself as center of the process. Instead, see yourself as a partner in a creative dance. Sometimes you might be inside the music. And the feelings, you see? I feel like I feel like this is something to do with music, Libra. More than any other art form, I feel like it's with music. Okay. Trying to make sure my phone is charging. Right. Anyways, music. In the feelings, the story, in its expression. Other times, you observe from the sidelines, watching it all flow from an unknown yet deeply intimate source. Today, your muse is calling you to be a channel and allow the creative energy to flow through you. The energy of emotion is waiting to be given a voice, a name, a shape, or a color. Journal, finish that writing project, start something new, paint, sing, dance. And don't worry where any of it lands. It has its own plans for you. Your muse knows where this is all meant to go. For you, the big magic is in the experience of answering the call. Alright, Libra. So that is messages for you. Now I'm going to move on to the sign of Scorpio. Alright. So let's do Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? You have the High Priestess. You're in a very intuitive state right now, Scorpio. Your intuition is growing strong. Your psychic abilities, psychic gifts are very strong for you. We have the Knight of Swords. We have communication coming in. We have the Nine of Wands, but you put some walls up here. We have the Eight of Pentacles. You've been hard at work here, Scorpio. Maybe you do some sort of spiritual work as well, like a light work or a tarot or whatever. Or maybe something with arts and crafts here. Eight of Pentacles. You have temperance. We have Sagittarius. You have those placements in your chart. Maybe one coming in to talk to you. Three of Cups. There's going to be a reunion. Three of Pentacles. Someone wanting to work with you. Seven of Cups. And some magnificent idea they have. Can be Sagittarius, Pisces. Can be three. Like all. Can be you. And two other people coming together to work on a project. All right. This is what I feel. And I feel like it's something spiritual as well. Like, it can be with art, but also with spirituality. With temperance, as like an angel card. And you have the High Priestess, which is a very psychic card. Alright? The Eight of Swords. 
and the devil and the four of cups ten of pentacles you do have money and wealth coming in five of wands in reverse and the queen of swords we have air gemini libra aquarius the hangman the unknown card we have we have oh. <laughs> scorpio you are going to have a lot of wealth and a lot of money coming in, but you're having someone here who's like associated with the devil or working with the devil here. The devil card, eight of swords. This person may use crystal balls as well. The unknown card. They may be trying to use a crystal ball to spy on you. All right. I feel like this is someone that has fallen out of your life. That's why they're trying to spy on you so much, you Scorpio. They're sitting here. They're sitting here very stuck on you. Like, they're trying to make you stuck by trying to project this onto you, but all they're doing is they're binding themselves, Scorpio. And they may even try to tempt you into something. Just ignore this person. Block them. Cut them out. Alright? I feel like you're not falling into their drama anymore. You're cutting them off. Queen of Swords. Okay? <coughs> and you have money coming in. You have a king of swords. So this tells me that you must have some sort of air placements in your chart. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And a nine of swords. The nine of pentacles. I feel like you've chosen to be single and independent here, Scorpio. More on you rather than other people. And I also feel like you're kind of cutting people off. You have a nine of cups. You're getting a wish fulfillment. Look how many nines we have here. It means we're almost at the end of a cycle. You have the hierophant. Yeah, you're having a wish fulfillment because it's like you're doing spiritual work, Scorpio. You're doing very spiritual work. You're collaborating with people. And now you're about to have a wish fulfillment because you've fulfilled wishes of uh, God, and the angels, and the high priestess. You know what I'm saying? You have the magician. You're manifesting. Six of swords. Maybe you're manifesting a move. Ace of swords. Mm, clarity. Scorpio, you're manifesting a wish fulfillment. Like, seriously, big time. Because you've done all the work here. So, let us see what we have with these cards. What we have for Sam Scorpio. We have that just falling out. We have number 10 with Close Encounters. So this talks about, oh, look at this. Okay, Scorpio. You're in a cage, but you're about to get out of the cage. You're a butterfly that's about to be set free. Grab another card for you. Like I said, look at that. Ten. Remember when I was like, we're almost at the completion of a cycle? And now we're at the end of the cycle. Ten. Close encounters. And I feel like you've been in a cage here, Scorpio. But you're about to get set free. Maybe that was a wish from the Six of Swords. this? We have two cards that's falling out. We have number 44 with Divine Matrix. Number 29 with Awakening Genius. So let's have a look at your Matrix and your Genius card. 2944. The spirit of creative expression. Bringing forth new information, birthing, knowing that your ideas matter. Okay, look at this. And I was going back to that collaborating, working on something together. All right, you see that? Creative expression, bringing forth new information. So you're bringing forth something new into your world, Scorpio. That is something on the creative side. And it's also to do with spirituality, and you're collaborating with people. This is this awakening genius, Scorpio. All right, you see that? Close encounters. You're going to be encountering people where you're working together. And you're awakening, I feel like, the world. I'm going to be setting free the world here. It says the ancient Greeks believed that each person had a specific genius that acted like a spirit guide. Inspiring you with new ideas to further your evolution as an individual as well as the evolution of all humanity. You could say that the genius is a spirit of creative expression. And when you tune into it, amazing things happen. Your genius awakens. You realize you do not have to do everything yourself. You see, that's why you're collaborating with people, Scorpio. 
You have an inspired, dedicated, wise helper on your side today. You can imagine cultivating a playful relationship with this extraordinary spirit. If you can, you, reg you recognize that you don't have to solve every problem with the only knowledge, memories, and experiences you already have occurred. Your intellect, in this case, serves as a channel for the spirit of genius, and it can filter in a new information. So you're going to be getting a new information. You're going to be getting, ooh, you're going to be getting a psychic yeah, high priestess of new information. It's for your creativity. Maybe it's for this project here, Scorpio. How you forge this connection is to get out of your own way and simply allow it to work through you. The word genius comes from the Latin. I don't know how to say that word, but meaning to bring forth or birth and shares the same root as the word generate. You are at this moment about to give birth to a new mode of expression and a powerful one at that. Commit to partnering with your genius and only deep satisfaction and success will result. Today is a day when your inspired ideas matter. We have your Divine Matrix. Realm of Spirit, the knowledge that we are all divine beings, part of a tapestry. Weaving our thoughts, or weaving our dreams, into fabric of reality, synchronicity, learning to trust the ways that things unfold. Do you ever wonder how synchronicities come together? These meaningful coincidences move life forward in ways we might not understand at the time. We can get trapped in the idea that the world is a place of separate parts with the space in between. Because the true quantum spiritual nature of reality can be confusing. Imagine that everything is possible under the sun is waiting to be claimed. You are not separate from what you desire to manifest. Scorpio is telling you, you're not separate from what you desire to manifest. You're not separate from your wish fulfillment over here. You understand that? Because you're awakening here. You're awakening yourself. You're awakening other people. Everything is one. It's not separate. Everything is connected within a vast living web of life, a divine matrix. Even that which you have not observed as part of your life experience is still considered connected to you. It remains dormant until you choose it. Life operates on life's terms as well. You don't live in a vacuum. So you are surrounded by a multitude of realities that were brought to light by others. These can surely affect you if you allow them to. But as you, as your thread, your luminous life force, your courageous dream is a part of a tapestry of life. You see that? Your dream, your desire, it's all part of life. It's all connected to you, Scorpio. It's not separate. It's within your reach. You're being invited to be a conscious of the patterns you are weaving. Isn't it amazing to know that you have such power inherent in you? Just by being alive, you will see evidence of the truth of this divine matrix today. It is in you. What you do matters. All manner of miracles are waiting for you to lay claim to them. Are you ready, Scorpio? So that is a message for you. Now we are going to move on to the sign. Capricorn. Alright, so let's grab this deck over here for Capricorn. So what messages do we have for Capricorn today? Every card's falling out. We have number 16 with clear your energy so there's a need to clear your energy clear your space clear your aura 32 with steadfastness number 21 with determination and i believe this is the root chakra that you've been working with um capricorn so when we're talking about the root chakra that is like your base and if you don't have a solid foundation like you can tell when your root chakra is out of balance because if it's out of balance you start to feel more anxiety but when it's balanced you'll feel stable Okay, Capricorn. Twelve with childlike expression. 
17 with inner knowing trust in your inner knowing and intuition number 46 with splendor so number six is must be important to you capricorn here I feel like it, there's a need to clear your energy clear people here trying to attach to you or project to you all right because you're going to be using your intuition your inner knowing it's very important for you to clear your energy so that people don't um, tap into your your channel you understand what I'm saying? And you're channeling here from your intuition. You don't want that to be disrupted by people. You're going to be remaining balanced here with the root chakra. And you're going to be expressing yourself. You're going to be expressing more of yourself like the inner child. All right? You're going to persevere. You're going to, you're going to keep moving forward. And we have Splendor. So I feel like this is good things happening for you. So let's have a look at your Splendor card. Number 46. Seek and honor the beauty and splendor that is within and around you. Ganesha is surrounded by beauty in this card. It is calling to your attention. Awaken to what you are surrounding yourself with at this moment. See more deeply and be aware of the impact of your surroundings on what you create in your life. Ganesha urges you to let beauty penetrate into your heart. You will naturally respond to this beauty by fostering more care and love. Not only in your life, but also in the lives of those around you. If your critical voice has been overly active lately for you, or if you find that you have been dwelling on negative behaviors, take a moment to realign yourself. See, this, this whole reading is about realigning yourself, getting back to your root, clearing your energy, all right? Getting back to your inner child and trusting your intuition as you move forward, Capricorn. You have arrived in this world as a unique and magnificent individual. The core of your being is whole, beautiful, and filled with love. The essence of your higher self wants nothing more or less than for you to be who you were created to be. Ganesha is standing in a meadow surrounded by flowers. The flowers symbolize perfection and beauty. The variety of colors, streams, healing, loving energy in your direction. The butterflies symbolize a change and evolution that your soul is undertaking. Remember that you have an awareness of your surroundings. See the splendor that is being shown to you and utilize this energy to support your own transformations. All right, Capricorn. So that is the messages for you. I'm going to move on to the sign of Aquarius. All right, so Aquarius, let's see what we have for you. Page of Wands, so maybe doing some flute music or listening to flute meditation. You see here with the flute there. If you can see it. Ace of Pentacles. There's new forms of money coming in. Four of Wands. Four of Swords. We have Death. Two of Cups. Two of Swords. Knight of Wands. Interesting. You have someone coming from the spirit world to you, Aquarius. This is like a lover here in the spirit world. You understand that? Two of Cups, Four of Wands, Death. Four of Swords. Maybe you see this person while you're sleeping. All right, but they may be coming in trying to talk to you here. This is someone here who has passed on already. At the Five of Cups. Maybe they're missing you. You're missing them. At the Wheel of Fortune. You have the sun. You have the empress. There's something about a child here. Be your child, someone else's child, child, children, or pregnancies here. We have the empress with the sun. So like you, or like be someone around you here, Aquarius. All right. There's a big like fertility thing here. You have the queen of wands. We have fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Be a fire sign. Emperor, we have Aries. We have Aries. We have King of Pentacles, Earth, Page of Swords. We have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we have Aries, strong Aries here. Aries, Leo. So, that can represent. Well, we have quite a few people here. 
All right, Aquarius. Quite a few people popping up in your reading. So I can represent one of the past lovers here. I can represent um, future generations, like mother or child. Like wands, king of pentacles, mother and son. Whether that be part of your family or whatever. Page of Cups, we have someone here deep in their emotions. Ten of Cups, there's something about a family. You see that? Eight of Swords. The Devil. Five of Wands in reverse. The Four of Cups. Six of Wands. Queen of Swords, you're going to be cutting off the Devil. So you have the... Uh, we have the Devil coming in, trying to tempt you. Trying to tempt people here. Alright, but the devil is actually going to be falling away and falling out because it's like you've rejected it, you've cut it off, and you're going to have victory. Alright? If you have the devil, you're trying to mess with something that's already been um, written in destiny. It's trying to mess with things you know that God has already planned. You can't really get in the way of that, so the devil's just going to be falling away, plan foiled. All right. Like, let's say if there's uh, like a family here, if there's there's already been destined. It can't really mess with that. All right. Aquarius, you have victory. With that, it's gonna be justice. Bottom of the deck, we have justice. Justice card. So let's have a look at your oracles. What do they have for you? Twenty-five with birds of a feather. Seventeen with storytellers. So you may be telling some sort of stories here, Aquarius. Like maybe you're a writer. Maybe you're going to be meeting with more writers here, Aquarius. People here who like to make books. Maybe oracles, tarots. You know, this goes on. Or you're going to be meeting more people like you, Aquarius. Maybe getting a part of a group here. Now, if you are interested in a group, I do have a spiritual group that's in the description down below that you can join. Meet more people who are into spirituality and the spirit world, if you're interested in that. All right, Aquarius, let's have a look at your storyteller, because we already know birds of a feather flock together. Identity. Positive self-definition. Definition. Teaching others how to treat you through the stories you tell about who you are. Do you know the story you tell others about who you are? You're a unique being with unique talents, and each story unique to you in your experience. In fact, your destiny can be found in the way you weave together these threads of yourself in the world. If there's anything in your life you want to change, then it's time to adjust the story you tell about yourself. Where is? Perhaps you are too self-deprecating or apologetic about how you shine, minimizing your power so that others will accept you. Perhaps the way your voice, you voice your expectations diminishes your ability to succeed. Or you're too willing or too tolerant. A less than supportive environment. It's easy to be in denial when it comes to others and their behavior towards you. Understand, however, that you teach people how to treat you through how you talk about yourself. Once you recognize what story you're telling others about how to treat you, you can tell a different one. What if you could connect to your true power as a co-creator of your reality? The story originates in your mind. How you think, your conditioning and past experiences, how you view the world, and what you expect to see in it. The truth is, you have everything you need to tell a new tale, Aquarius, and weave more blessings into the world as your unique contribution. In fact, practice speaking of your amazing success. Your overflowing abundance and all the love that surround you. Soon the outer world will tell the same story back to you, Aquarius. So, that is all I have for you. If you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye, guys.